Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Elena. So welcome and I hope you guys are here to stay. And today I would like to share my Hoya Obscura Philip with you guys because she bloomed. I have posted a little short before with a bunch of blooms in my home. She was just budding up at that point, but now she is bloomed and it is absolutely beautiful. I hope you guys can see the blooms. They are absolutely gorgeous. This is the first time this Hoya blooming for me and I was very surprised how fuzzy those flowers are. It actually reminds me a lot of Hoya Lacunosa blooms, just a lot, a lot larger. And here's another peduncle we have, which is gonna bloom pretty soon. And the scent on this Hoya is very, very pleasant. It actually smells to me just like Lacunosa blooms also, I'll be honest with you, just not maybe as sweet but it smells exactly like Lacunosa snow caps that I have and they are absolutely adorable. I have this Hoya for quite some time at this point. I kept her for the longest time in my grow tent and then she finally gotten too big, you guys, to keep it there. I potted her up in a larger pot, which is a four inch pot right here and it is in a clear four inch pot right there. Then I just plop her in here. This way I can keep an eye on the roots. And since she got too big for my grow tent, I moved her up and for a little while she actually was sitting behind me on a shelf. And finally, I just put her on my north window and that's where the peduncles happened, you guys. She did not try to bloom anywhere else in my home until I actually put her on my north window. Another thing I have noticed was this Hoya, it didn't really get sun stress that much in my grow tent whatsoever. And under the bright light, it just gets more pale color, which I don't really love. That's another reason why I moved her on my north window. And on the new growth right here, you can see a little bit of sun stressing, but like I mentioned before, it only happened in my north window. It did not look good to me under the grow light. So this Hoya definitely seemed to like a regular natural light i guess scent is very very pleasant on this hoya it's like i mentioned before it smells just like lacunosa to me just very light floral and a little bit less sweet than lacunosa so hoya obscura philip is a little bit different from regular hoya obscura from what I understand, this Hoya flowers much sooner and flowers quite a lot compared to Obscura. And the flowers right here can vary in color. It could be that cream color that I have right now, but it also could be more pink. And I think it depends maybe on the season or the lighting. I'm not sure about that. So if you guys know, let me know. But it is different than regular Obscura. I have regular Obscura right here. And you can see the foliage on this Hoya is a little bit different than the foliage on Obscura Philip. Let me show it to you guys side by side right here. So they are a little bit different and I feel that regular Obscura does sun stress a lot better than Philip. Although regular Obscura I have never tried to sun stress because honestly I got it as a gift when I was buying some Hoyas and it wasn't really good clone so it's always been kind of sickly and um, wasn't really growing that well for me and once I treated for flat mites it did start growing but it just still does not look that amazing to me so I'm gonna still gonna work on this girl I guess. But Obscura Philip, she just took off right off the bat for me. Never had any trouble growing this Hoya. I have not propagated her yet just because I really didn't need to do it. But I would think it's a very easy Hoya to propagate. But it's definitely a great bloomer, you guys. So if you want a Hoya that's easy care and also blooms readily for you hoya obscura philip that's the way to go you guys let's recap the care for this hoya i keep her on a north window and just regular northern window light and it seemed to enjoy that otherwise it would not produce all these beautiful blooms for me 
I keep her in the four inch pot and um, I water her once every couple of weeks. In fact, I just watered her because she was getting really dry. And the best way to water this Hoya is just by feeling the leaves. And if they are firm, then you don't need to. And if they are soft, which you could tell in this leaf, like I can squeeze it and you can see even little wrinkles there. And this leaf right here is very wrinkled. I kind of just realized before I was filming that she needs some water and I just watered her. So, but that's the basically good time to water. I mean, with any Hoyas, I would probably not wait till this point, but it's only a few leaves that looking dehydrated like this and the other ones looks pretty good. So you want it kind of where it's more like this feel, which is like soft squishy but it's not wrinkled like this guy right here i guess and i did made a time lapse video on this flowers i kind of been playing with time lapse i wouldn't say they are great quality at this point because i'm still learning how to do that but it's definitely very fascinating to watch how those little blooms open up and this hoya you guys it opened up so fast in fact i had three different Hoyas budding up at the same time and I wasn't sure which one gonna open up first so I'm walking around trying to set up the to film the time lapse and I wasn't sure which one gonna go first so I've decided to go with Obscura Philip and I was surprised I literally just set it up thinking oh it's gonna be days before they pop open and I'm not kidding that night some of the flowers already opened up in a few hours they were really all open already so it's really really amazing how fast those peduncles form how fast they grow and how fast they do open up and i gotta tell you this flower has been lasting for quite some time at this point this is about day five i want to say which is pretty good for hoyas because there is some hoya flowers that just don't last that long sometimes i don't even have a chance to film a video for you guys so i don't always show all of the blooms that i get in my house but this one does and from the looks of it it might last for a few more days for sure so definitely great hoya to have especially for the beginners and if you're not a beginner and you just want a good bloomer good hoya to have if you guys like this video and want to support my channel and the best way to do it is by giving this video a like share with your plant friends and subscribe to my channel and if you guys want to see more of my hoyas videos check out my channel i do have quite a lot of videos at this point and most of them are about hoyas since that's like my number one plant in my collection i just love them you guys Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.